What's going on, my fellow creators? Today, I'm taking a question sent in and turning it into a full-blown rant. Should designers learn to code? The age-old question. Well, here's my two cents to add to your piggy bank of two cents on this topic. Hope you're all having a lovely Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever day you're watching or listening to this. I'm Dylan Winspear, the host of the Design Today podcast, where every Tuesday morning we are dropping new episodes to help UX designers like yourself build upon your UX career. I previously announced that I was going to start a UX QA once a month, but I didn't take into account that that only gives me one day a month to rant. And I like to rant, so I don't think I can do that. So here's what we're going to do and switch it up into instead. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we'll do a QA once every other month or once every couple months, uh, once a quarter if we're trying to be business official. Either way, if you've got a UX question you want me to answer, send it my way via comments on YouTube, Slack, LinkedIn, or however you can get a hold of me. I am going to take one of these questions today uh, and turn it into the topic of this episode. So let's dive in. Hey Dylan, what's going on? I got a quick question for you. Sure, shoot, what's on your mind? I was wondering if you thought it was worth my time to learn how to code. Pause. I'm sure you've heard other talented UX designers give their thoughts on this topic, and they've probably given you answers on both sides of the equation. Well, here's my answer. Unpause. Well, it depends. Short answer, no. With some additional context, sure, absolutely. Learn to code. Here's what I mean. If you're a UX designer right out of school, you're in the learning mode and you're probably wondering what the next step in your learning is and maybe trying to figure out how to work with developers better is on the top of your list. My answer for you here is absolutely not. You don't need to code in order to understand how to work with developers. I couldn't fix an airplane engine, but I'm happy to take a flight somewhere. Does that analogy work for you? What I'm trying to say is this. You don't need to physically learn how to write an app in order to be a successful UX designer and know how to work with developers. Instead, I'd recommend first dipping your toes into their world. Maybe learn their lingo and the terms that they use. If you're in the mobile world, learn what a push view is versus a presented view is. Hopefully you're not surprised that when you learn these things, you learn that developers don't call a given screen an artboard. Learn their lingo and it'll make talking about designs a lot easier. Then maybe learn more about how they work personally. In order to meet their needs and make the design handoff process easier, learn more about them. Learning to code is not part of the required user experience design wheelhouse of skills, but there may be a time and place. Do you wanna work at a startup? There might be four people at that company and everyone is wearing multiple hats. If you do know how to code, You've made yourself a stronger asset to this company because you're filling two job title positions. But what if you're at a large company? Is there a benefit there? Maybe. Chances are they've already got a crew who can develop. So pick your team. Are you a UX designer or developer? Next, I'll say this. No skill set is a bad skill set. So skills are skills. You might not get to utilize them all the time, but the knowledge you know can do wonders for you. If not at the very least, it can give you additional context or empathy. It's like the question, should people learn to specialize in UX design versus UX research? If you can learn both, it's only gonna be an asset for you personally. Okay, fine, Dylan, but you really haven't answered my question. Should I learn to code or not? Let me ask this instead, Dylan. Can you code? I know enough to know I don't know nearly enough. I couldn't sit down and develop my own app, plain and simple. I've got no desire to learn. I know too many talented developers to ever want to take that on as my own. So should you learn to code? It's really gonna be up to you. What's your situation? Do you wanna learn to code because you're interested in it? Then knock yourself out. Do you think you need to learn to code to get hired? Consider who that employer is and if you really want to work there. There's gonna be pros and cons that come with that job description. Is it the next step in your career path to learn to code? I sure hope not. There are so many other important UX skills that I'd imagine learning before learning to develop, but that's just my two cents. If you want more of my two cents, then consider giving Design Today a subscribe in order to be notified when a new episode goes live. If you're listening on the podcast app, you can also follow along on the YouTube channel to see my smiling face along with a guest that I feature every other week. Maybe you're sitting on the toilet watching right now. Good on you. Way to be productive while being productive. For the YouTube watchers, I'll also encourage you to hit the bell icon after you subscribe to be notified the moment a new episode drops. 
as always, the comments are a great place to tell me what you thought about this episode. Maybe you wanna give me my two cents back. Let me know. If you agree with my assessment, then give this episode a like, share it with a friend or a coworker or a classmate. That's it for Design Today. Next Tuesday, we've got a Design Today veteran back on the show. Dano will be here in the house talking about how to improve team collaboration. I'll see you then.